Okay, this recording is going to go over how to name an angle. So here there is a diagram of a single angle. We can see the angle's sides are ray BA and ray BC. B is the vertex, and the vertex is the point where the two rays meet to form the angle. There are three different ways we can name an angle. The first way is by using three capital letters with the vertex letter in the middle. So for this diagram, this angle can be called angle ABC or angle CBA. Again, the vertex has to be the middle letter. The second way to name an angle would be by one capital letter, and that would be angle B. You have to use the vertex letter, and this can only be done when there's only one angle here. So for example, this one we can call angle B. It's only a single angle. As we progress throughout geometry, the diagrams will get more complicated. There will be one more than one angle formed at a vertex, so you can no longer use just one letter. And the last way to name an angle is by one lowercase letter or number written in the middle of the angle. So here we can see in red the number one is written inside the angle, so we can refer to this angle as angle one. Let's go ahead and take a look at an example here. There are three different angles in this diagram. And the first one we will talk about is this top one here. And that angle goes from D down to C and up over to E. So naming that green angle using three letters, we can call that angle DCE. Or it can also be called angle ECD. Again, the important thing is to remember that the vertex goes in the middle. The next angle we can look at would be this bottom angle here formed between E and F. So highlighting that angle, we can see here one side is ray CE. The other side is ray CF, so we would go ahead and use C as the vertex, and we can call this angle ECF, or angle FCE. And lastly, the third angle in the diagram would be the entire angle here. So starting up at D, down to C, and over to F. So we are talking about the whole angle, and that can be named angle DCF. Or angle FCD. And lastly, let's just take a look at one more example here. Name angle one in two different ways. So angle one, the angle we are referring to is this bottom angle here. So highlighting what part angle one is on the whole diagram, it's just this bottom part here between C and D with B being the vertex. So we can call this angle CBD. Or, this angle can also be called angle DBC. Again, the important thing to remember is that the vertex letter where the angle is formed is always the middle letter when you're naming it with three letters. Okay, and again, we have to use this using three letters because if I said just angle B, I wouldn't know if you were referring to the top angle, the bottom angle, or the whole diagram completely. So again, when there's multiple angles formed at the same vertex, you need to name the angle using three letters.